students so i set up three systems so this is system 1 okay and uh, this is the lan trainer kit we will be using to used to for few experiments like topology creation csmsc and csmscd then uh, flow control mechanisms like stop and wait go back and and selective repeat okay so all these experiment we will be using this trainer kit okay so in this trainer kit you can see here so it is default uh, we have a best topology over there and uh, six uh, five ports are there so and start topology so this is a start topology you can see that six ports are available and switch is inbuilt inside okay and this is the ring topology okay so ring topology you can only stimulate by connecting all the four systems otherwise ring topology doesn't work okay so using this trainer kit uh, we will be using uh, used for all the experiments like whatever uh, experiment i told you we will be using this trainer kit okay and the trainer kit will be having a power cable from the back side so this will be the power cable okay let me show you that this is the power cable which will be connected to the power supply and you have a switch here you need to turn on the switch okay let me show you that okay one switch is available here you need to turn on the switch okay so now it is turned off fine now so as i told you 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 need uh, in order to do an experiment you need at least three systems for start topology alone you require four systems so most of the case we want the using for start uh, ring topology sorry ring topology because at a time four systems we required so while conducting exams if i am providing all the four systems then uh, we we can't able to conduct the lab for all all the 20s okay so if time permits we will do that okay but the operation is same as best topology okay so system 1 is here then system 2 is here and and the system 3 is here okay i'm going to connect all the three systems to this lan trainer kit okay so uh, in order to do that uh, you need to know where the ethernet cable is connected okay so if i am showing that just turn your cpu okay in the back side of the cpu you can see the back side of the cpu now so the back side of the cpu uh, you can see that there is a port available okay so one port is available as uh, see here this blue color cable okay this this one is the lan ca lan cable okay so you can see the port now so this port is called a lan cable port so this rj ethernet cable okay this is the ethernet cable fine i am going to connect this cable to this port okay so you need to connect here one end is connected here okay and other end of the cable is here okay so the same thing other end of the cable is here now if i am going to create uh, start topology okay start topology means i am connecting the other end of that to any one of the port okay fine this is the setup likewise each system i connected the lan cable and other end is connected to the port okay and the third system lan cable i connected here i'm going to connect another one port okay so this is the setup okay so system 1 is there system 1 uh, back end of the cpu i connected the lan cable then connected to any one of the port here then system 2 system 3 this is the setup of your start topology as well as this will be the setup for csms ca csms cd flow control uh, uh, stop and wait go back in and selective repeat for all these experiments we will be using start topology alone okay and if you are going to create best topology and ring topology accordingly you will use you can see best topology is here that time you can connect two three systems here in the best topology port and if you are going to simulate star ring topology you can connect here Okay, so this will be the initial setup, okay?